Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the private access specifier in a class. So all of you know that an access specifier specifies, you know, where a class member function or a member variable is available. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna create a class called human. So I'm gonna create that class before this main function. So it's gonna be class human and then as the access specifier we need to write the keyword private so in the last or in the previous tutorials we were writing public but here we need to write private and then a colon and then we're gonna declare the member variables or the properties or the methods so in this case for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a variable age and it is of type integers okay and the next thing is once we have a private property in our class this private property or if we have a method is not available outside this class not even in main function you can't use that only we can use it inside this class so another thing is in a class we can have private public and and protected sections and there we can declare the member variables or the properties and the methods okay in our main function i'm going to create a variable of this class human so it's going to be the class name human and then the variable name let's say anil and if i try to access this age anil dot age and let's initialize this one to let's say a value of 25 and if i save this i'm going to build and run you get some errors and if i open up the logs age is private and the next thing is okay how to use this private properties in our programs for that we can create the public methods and from using that public methods we can access that for example here we can create another section of public and uh, we're gonna create a function void let's say display age and this display age is a method of this class human and that's why it can access all the properties and the methods of this class that's why we can access this private property age also so here we're just gonna print out the value so it's gonna be c out and uh, age and uh, before that you know uh, to initialize this age property i'm gonna create another function and i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it after this display and I'm gonna change this one to let's say set age and we're gonna get a value so it's gonna be int and let me call it as value and I'm gonna save that in my age variable so it's gonna be age equal to value so now we have a private property and two public functions so using this public functions we are accessing this private property just to demonstrate that here after creating uh, an object of this human class i'm gonna write anil dot the object name dot set age and i need to pass a value 24 and then to display the age we're gonna use anil dot display age and that's it i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this it says 24 so if you have a private property or a private method in your program you can't access that directly so the next thing is what is the use of this private properties or the private methods so in a class if you don't want the information to be displayed or accessed outside the class at that time you can use it let's say in this human example we don't want this age to be known outside this class i don't want anybody to access my age if they want to know my age then they should ask me by using this public display age method 
and here in this display age function or the meta I can display my age however I want I may display it as anger or I may display it as older because the user don't has the access to the age directly so whatever I display to him he should believe that so here what I can do is I can make this function to display my age 5 year anger so I can write age minus 5 here and the next thing is if you have a private method in your class that class is a that method is also not accessible directly from the outside so you can only use that in your program just to demonstrate these two things I'm gonna uh, create another method inside this private section and I'm gonna call it as let's say int get age and it's gonna be return I'm gonna display my age 5 years anger so age minus 5 so we can use this get age meta in our display meta so here it's gonna be get age here what we are doing is we are creating a private method and we are using that private method in our public method and from this main function we are accessing that public method only because whatever the private properties of a class is not accessible outside from that class so here we gonna call this display age no problem same so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program and it says 19 but that's not my age because my age is 24 that's why we can say that this private properties or this private access specifiers are normally used to hide the internal working or the internal representation of data and uh, by using these private methods we can hide the internal workings and uh, you know these private methods are useful if you want to divide your logic to modules just like the way we have done here and we can only use the private properties and the methods inside that class only so that's it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial